Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Francisco. I'm alive and live in Facebook once more. This video is about nephrotic syndrome. It's part of this video series to help patients to understand better their disease or their caregivers or their relatives so they can come into better terms with the disease, aiming to live more graciously despite having the disease, but also by understanding more about their disease, they can have more meaningful discussions with their um, doctors, healthcare providers that can translate into better outcomes, meaning less complications and worries. So this is the kidney uh, health information and disease awareness uh, video blog. So I hope you find these um, topics useful. Today we are going to start a new short series. This is on nephrotic syndrome. So what it is a nephrotic syndrome. So nephrotic syndrome is caused by some sort of inflammation or injury to the microfilters of the kidneys, the so-called glomeruli, making their filter pores abnormally bigger, allowing the leakage or loss of massive amounts of protein in the urine, especially albumin, typically of more than 3.5 grams per day, and all that can be detected in a urine test. The massive loss of albumin in the urine causes the albumin levels in the blood to drop, which has many negative effects in the body. Loss of albumin is associated with malnutrition and general weakness. But also albumin serves like a sponge for water inside the blood vessels. So when it reaches very low levels, water starts leaking outside the blood vessels, causing swelling of the legs, face, and many parts of the body like the gut. But because the water drops outside the vessels, many organs are actually dehydrated, including the kidneys, which sounds paradoxical because there is a lot of fluid retention. Patients can suffer even acute kidney failure just for that level of dehydration. Importantly, together with albumin, other proteins are also lost in the urine of patients with nephrosis. These include proteins regulating the levels of cholesterol in the blood, proteins of the immune defense system, like antibodies and complement, some coagulation factors, and some proteins that transport hormones like vitamin D or minerals like iron. So patients with nephrotic syndrome can have respectively high cholesterol levels with consequent damage to their blood vessels in the long run, predisposition to infections, blood clots in different parts of the blood vessels of the venous system, like the legs or the lungs, which can be disastrous, or hormonal, vitamin, or mineral imbalances. Thus, nephrotic syndrome overall is characterized by massive leakage of protein in the urine, low albumin in the blood, body swelling, and high cholesterol, with some patients developing malnutrition, dehydration, infections, and clots plus many other complications. So I hope you find this video useful. If so, please press like. Uh, please um, help me support in this initiative. If you have any comments, leave it in the comment section. I will reply later. I just want to make an advertisement. Um, these uh, videos in this uh, group have uh, led to the production of uh, ebook. The first edition was written last year. This year I have written the second edition that is available for purchase in amazon.com also in, uh, in my website. So I will leave the link in the description. Just is some uh, advertisement because some people might like to watch these videos and um, some people would prefer to read it. Some people would prefer YouTube. So all this information is available through you in these videos in Facebook. The benefit that is interactive if you um, um, tune at the same time, you can ask questions. Otherwise, you can watch it in the replay in, in Facebook, but also you can read it in the comfort of your home um, or while commuting if you decide to, to buy the PDF or, or the Kindle version. So that's all I need to say. So I'm Dr. Francisco wishing you the best possible health. Take care. Bye-bye.